Hello, my name is Randall Hart. I'm one of the construction accountants here at Fast Easy Accounting and Business Consulting Accounting. And today's video is going to be a description on job costing and job profitability. Now, bear in mind the, the Randallism, which goes, cash is a fact, profit is an opinion. So let's kind of keep that in the back of our minds. Generally speaking, what happens is you get an income from sales, you subtract the cost of goods sold, you subtract the ordered expenses, and that kind of generally gives you your net income. So I'm going to take a little a job here that has sold for $60,000. The cost of goods sold was $40,000. The ordered expenses are fifteen. dollars That gives cash flow of $5,000. Well, oddly enough, that cash flow is actually profit as well. Let's see how it opened up, though. Month one. Um, you invoiced the client for $20,000 and they paid you. Unfortunately, you paid out subcontractor cost, the cost of goods sold were $25,000 and the order expenses were $5,000, so you're $10,000 in the hole for cash flow. Month two, you invoiced that same $20,000, it's one third to third to third, but now your, your subcontract, your cost of goods sold is only $15,000. Your order expenses are still $5,000. Your cash flow is zero, so you're not taking money out of the checking account, but you're not putting any money in. And then, lo and behold, thank goodness, we get to month three. You've invoiced them for twenty thousand dollars. They paid. There were no cost goods sold in month three. It was all front loaded. Your overhead expenses were still five thousand. Your cash flow is fifteen thousand. You're feeling a little better about that. But let's go to the next slide. This slide shows us what happened in the cash flow forecast on month to start out. It was zero. So on month one, we got 20000 in, there was $30,000 out, we had a negative cash flow of $10,000. It had to come from somewhere. It came from HIP National Bank, it came from a credit card, it came from your college fund, or someplace. Month two, you're, you're dead even. And month three, you got some cash in, 15000 Not too bad. Now let's look at the next slide. This shows us the cash flow across the entire spectrum. So I'm saying in this case, the beginning checking account balance for the job started was $2,500. In month one, you were 10,000 negative. So now your checking account is $7,500 negative. Month two in this job, you're still $7,500 negative. You didn't make any money, cash. You didn't bring any, uh, lose any cash on this job. Month three, you actually brought in 15,000 positive cash flow. It means that you're Ending checking account balance is now 7500 because, again, $5,000 in cash. Now, as an accountant, I'm always looking to see what are the both the opportunity cost and the hidden cost. So let's take a look here. And I'm going to say in this example that the contractor used his credit card as a bridge loan. So again, that 2500 in the first month, right there, and then 7500 negative, 7500 negative, positive, what took place was at 18% annual interest, he was paying out $112.50 in interest charges for two months. Nothing here because he paid it all back. But just to make a quick note here to yourself, he lost $225. It was interest expense of $225 in this job. So the real net profit was $4,775. I'm going to show you another little operation. This is what we used to do in our construction business. Um, it really worked out pretty simple because we're contractors, not bankers. So I never allowed people to borrow money from me. What happened was in this, in this scenario, instead of taking a third and a third and a third, because I know I'm going to have some front-loaded expenses, I'm saying go ahead and invoice for half up front. So by doing that, the cash flow right off the bat is zero. You're not taking money out, not putting money in. It's not costing you. The next month... You take 20000 your cash flow is cost you 20000 and then your profit comes in the third month. Now, what happened here is you didn't have any cash flow losses. So you're using, my favorite is opium. I love opium. And that stands O is for other, P is for peoples, M is for money. I love working with other people's money. When I was contracting, Somebody wanted a remodel project done or something major. I had no problem whatsoever. I made it really clear. I have an agreement with the bank. I don't loan money, and they don't do contracting. Worked out great. So always use 
your clients money to finance the job. Now, in this case, I'm saying that I get at least 18% return on my money, and you can do that. I don't care what they tell you. I do it all the time. So the income, the interest income at $2,500, that was in my checking account, was $37.50 for two months in a row. I didn't show it here because I didn't show it in the cash balance sheet. So in this case, that job had $5,075 in net profit. Not a big difference, but let's look at it this way. By financing my credit card, 225 in a hole, as opposed to interest income, $75. The difference is $300. And here's the big one right there. 6% profit percentage difference. Now, this is the one of the keys in construction where you make money. Money in the construction company gang is made in the office. It is not made in the field. It's very simple. There was a book quite a while back referred to, and there's a phrase used in that book. It was called, if the grand strategy is correct, a number of tactical errors can be made, yet the enterprise proves successful. However, efficient strategy, efficient operations can't overcome bad strategy. So I encourage you to give us a call. There you go, 206 361 3950 or on the web at www.fasteasyaccounting.com. Hope this has been of value to you. Thank you. Bye for now.